Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Tell us your name and your wonderful testimony. Thank you. My name is Goodness. My name is Goodness Ekeben. I want to thank God for all he has done for me through the medium of the anointing water. In my family, nobody ever graduates. You will start, but you will never graduate. So when I decided I was going to finish, I faced through a lot, I passed through a lot of challenges. So the first school, when I got to the first school, the first challenge was that lecturers in my department, they wanted to have an affair with me. When I turned them down, they started marking me down. It, they frustrated me out of that school, and I decided to go to another school. So when I got to another school, I similar challenges again. This time around, it was my HOD. So the HOD of my department, he started failing me. He failed and failed until I got so frustrated and I reported to the school authorities but they invited me but they never did anything. So the challenges continued. So until my final year, when we resume for the final semester. So I discovered that another carryover again this time around, I just took a decision. I said, God, since the more I pray, the more the carryovers are. I'm dropping out of school. If you are not ready to do anything, I'm, I got angry. I left school. And when I left school, I started coming to this place. On the 31st night, 31st of 2012, so I came to this place. When the prophet was reading out the prophecies for the year, so I picked up prophecy number five. Here. So, when he was reading the prophecies, prophecy number five, I picked up, this is the prophecy. It said, stop praying against those who hurt you. This year, you will see clearly that God is God of vengeance. Instead, you should pray for them. So that period, I started praying for this, the, the, lecturer, the lecturers, rather. So, on the month of February, I, I received the anointed daughter. But before I received the anointed water, I wrote to the Ministry of Education and the governor, they invited me, but nothing came out of it. That was in 2011. Then in 2013, after this prophecy that I received the anointed water, I decided to rewrite the Ministry of Education and the governor. So this time around, after three weeks, I was invited. They called me and they said, they gave the school. They, everybody uh, was like, ah, ah. How did this girl know about the governor? The governor called direct concerning my case. And they called me back to school. Normally I was supposed to pay, but this time around I was being paid every month until I completed my program. I completed my program successfully. So I completed my program and I was being paid at every month. For the four months I completed my program, the school pays me. And at the end of the day, this is my call-up letter. This is my call-up. You can see my pictures in camp. The first graduate of the family. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we've just been hearing from our sister how she's had so many challenges that um, no one in her family has graduated. There has been this cycle, this family curse that has been stopping them from having breakthrough stopping them from graduating and succeeding in their academic career. And she faced so many challenges, so many setbacks, so many disappointments and failures. And she even moved from one university, one school to another as a result of these challenges, as a result of this setback. But she started coming to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And we can see on the board right now the prophecy that the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, gave at the beginning of the year 2013. And she she took that prophecy 
and believed it by faith and claimed it by faith that this is the year of vengeance, this is the year that she would have her breakthrough and this is the year that she would have justice done in her life and in her career. So she prayed and she received the anointing water. So can you tell us what happened after you received and ministered the anointing water? After I received the anointed water, I decided to write the governor and the minister of education the second time. So when I wrote them, I anointed it. And just three weeks after I submitted the letter to them, I was called. I was called from the school. So I came down to the school and I was able to complete my program. Amen. We thank Jesus Christ. So our sister is saying that after she ministered the anointing water by faith, she was called back to the school and she was able to complete her program and completed her graduation and her HND. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. So that curse that was upon her life and her family was reversed through the medium of the anointing water. And sister, we just want to advise you, just as you have been uh, set free and delivered through the word of Christ, continue to be ruled by his word. Let his word guide you as you continue your, your education and as you continue your career in Jesus' name. Amen. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cette dame qui nous dit que personne n'est diplômé dans sa famille. Elle dit qu'elle-même faisait face à beaucoup de problèmes dans les écoles qu'elle fréquentait. Elle faisait face à de la limitation ainsi qu'à de la régression. Elle disait que les enseignants voulaient souvent sortir avec elle et sur son refus, elle était obligée de changer d'école en tout moment, de changer d'université. Mais dans ces universités-là, les mêmes problèmes se répétaient et elle n'arrivait pas du tout à s'en sortir jusqu'au point où elle fut renvoyée entre temps de l'université. Elle dit que en début d'année, lorsque l'homme de Dieu donnait des prophéties et priait, elle a prié avec l'homme de Dieu et elle a cru que cette année, c'est l'année de sa destinée. Elle a reçu aussi l'eau d'onction qu'elle a eu à appliquer avec foi et quelques temps après, elle fut rappelée à l'université pour poursuivre ses études. Aujourd'hui, elle est devant nous avec son diplôme à la main. Elle a fait la différence en croyant au Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Elle a pu obtenir son diplôme et ce cycle de limitation est brisé sur la famille au nom de Jésus-Christ. Gloria a Dios, acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de esta señorita, nos cuenta que nadie en su familia se había podido graduar durante todos estos años, dice que ella es la única, gracias al poder del agua de unción, dice que pasó muchas dificultades, muchos retrasos en su carrera como estudiante, dice que me, me, los maestros la rechazaban, tenía muchos problemas para estudiar, pero ella decidió venir a la sinagoga, adquirir el agua de unción, ministrar el agua de unción y también dice que ministró el agua de unción en, eh, en, un, en, un ex, eh, en una carta que le dirigió al gobernador de su estado, la cual inmediatamente a los dos días de haberla enviado recibió una llamada diciendo que eh, era citada para poder eh, continuar con su carrera y es así como ella fue eh, se ha graduado para la gloria de Dios en el nombre de Jesucristo. Continuamos con más testimonios. www.goan.org Go to the Visit Us page and for those from within Nigeria you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked and after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. 
all communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bird of son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ, to empower his followers to change the world today. Distance.